I'm intrigued whether this will work. Didn't seem to think about it too much, did it? That is unreal. Welcome back guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today we're gonna to do some radio experiments. One of the biggest questions I get asked is how far do radios go? I mean, that's a really open-ended question to ask because you could be talking about some sort of portable radio like that, or you could be talking about something a bit more serious like a mobile radio in a car. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll probably know that handheld radios like this haven't got a very big range at all. Basically, you're looking at like, what, one kilometer or something, maybe even less than that. Um, in a built up area. It's gonna be even worse if these are used car to car, which a lot of people have started to do now because it's quite a good way of kind of instantly communicating with each other. So how do we get better range? And the short answer to that is you can't, unless you've got a ham radio license, which I have. So I'm gonna have a play. Right, so to carry out this experiment, I'm gonna use two radios. I've got one radio here with a built-in antenna on the top. This is the one I'm gonna be using to just walk about and test the range. And then I've got this one here with the antenna removed. So you can see it's just got a socket on the top and we're gonna connect an external antenna to that and put it in my loft. Now, if we pop over to my dear old friends at Moonraker who supply lots of radio gear, I'll show you the antenna we're gonna use. I've actually got it right now, but it's this one, the Sharman HLP270. It's a dual band antenna you don't need to worry too much about that but as you can see here it's quite compact but it actually kind of is set up here in a horizontal configuration what we're actually going to do is mount it vertically because when I'm walking around with the radio my antenna is going to be vertical so yeah this is quite a compact antenna and it will fit in the loft space absolutely fine we just need to run a cable from this antenna down into this room and connect it to our other radio so the antenna's up in this loft space I've literally run the cable down through the ceiling here um, behind a bit of conduit and the wire goes all the way around here and it comes to the other radio. So we're just gonna plug that in now. So with this radio connected up, I've selected the channel I wanna use um, for the test, which is the same as the channel, the frequency and everything matches. So these two will talk to each other, no problem at all. Now for this test, cause I'm conducting it solo, cause I'm on my own today, I'm actually gonna use the radio check feature, which is available on these radios, which allows one radio to ping the other radio to see if it's in range or not. Okay, it's not a complete two way voice test, but I will record the audio on this one so you can hear me while I'm out and about talking. So it's all recording, we can do a little test on the radio here. Testing, testing one, two, okay, testing, testing one, two. So that is picking me up absolutely fine. Right, so I'm out with the radio at the end of my road. First little test, this should work, no problem at all. So on this radio, you can go contact, Andy, and then we can do radio check here. And we should get a little tick back. And that is basically saying it's in range. So we can do a little voice test now. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, Mike six, Juliet, Kia Alpha. That's my uh, ham radio call sign. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, Mike six, Juliet, Kia Alpha. Right, off to the next location. Right, so next test now, just by this busy road. Um, I'm gonna do another one. We're about 0.4 of a kilometer, so 400 meters or so away. So just do a little test there, no problem at all, absolutely fine. I think that definitely would have struggled a bit if the other one didn't have an external antenna on it. Right, let's do another little test then. Testing one, two, testing one, two, Mike six, Juliet Kilo Alpha testing. And we'll see what that sounds like when we get back. Testing one, two, testing one, two, Mike six, Juliet Kilo Alpha testing. Right, we're now about 0.6 of a mile away. So I'm gonna find the miles for you guys that use miles, um, which is about what? thousand well, a kilometer I suppose something like that so let's give it a go this road's so noisy behind me so let's do the radio check first no problem at all <laughs> and um, now the audio test testing testing mic six Juliet Kilo Alpha testing testing mic six Juliet Kilo Alpha right guys so I'm in the town now so let's give it another little test give the beacon a test just thinking about it a bit. It's bound to be a little bit scratchy around here. Let's try it again. All right, there you go. So it, it's gonna vary where it is. I'm not sure if the audio is gonna come out the other end, but we'll see, we'll give it a go. It's real, real word testing. Mike six, Juliet, Kilo Alpha testing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You see, as things start getting a bit more built up, 
this is where the problem happens. You know, you, I mean, there's no way handheld to handheld is going to work, but with the external antenna, you can. It's going to improve it at least. Right, so I'm about 1.2 miles now. I thought I'd come to this this park because otherwise <laughs> people start to give me funny looks. So yeah, let's do another little test then on um, just the range check, check thing, radio check. Such a cool feature. It works so well. Um, and we'll see. There you go. Come straight in. I'm I'm not acting mega surprised by this because I, I you know this this is kind of I've been doing this quite a long time. So just really to show you guys what is possible with external antennas, it makes such a huge difference. M6 JKA testing in the park. Testing in the park. Mike Six Juliet Kilo Alpha testing in the park. M6 JKA testing in the park. Testing in the park. Mike Six Juliet Kilo Alpha testing in the park. You genuinely have to give your call sign every transmission with ha with ham radio. Um, it's just kind of etiquette. Not always, especially if you're in a lot of fast conversation, but you know, it is pretty good etiquette to do it. Right, onwards then. Hope it don't rain. It's a good job I'm on the e-bike. I need to go miles. So another range test, another little um, radio check here. Um, we're probably, what, touching... I don't know 1.8 miles something like that so it's just going and going I think because it's obviously open out here as well that is really helping but another little audio test Mike 6 Juliet Kilo Alpha testing M6 JKA testing so I think just really push it a bit I need to go all the way over there to that bridge and I think if we can get over there then it's basically covered the whole town really Remember, when I'm saying these distances, these are line of sight distances as the crow flies. So obviously it's a, it's a lot longer if you're going on the road because this is literally just completely line of sight. So when you say like two miles line of sight, that's covering a hell of a lot of ground. Right, so I'm at the bridge. Let's test this out and see. I'm intrigued whether this will work. Didn't seem to think about it too much, did it? That is unreal. M6 JKA testing. M6 JKA testing. M6 JKA testing. M6 JKA testing. The fact that we're getting a radio check ping back just from here is is surprising to me actually. And now it's starting to rain. Ah! Get some shit on here. Storm's pretty crazy guys, I've just got back in and there's a power cut as well. Of course, radio's working a power cut, no problem at all, even if your phone signal goes. Yeah, it was a, it was a mad power cut though, wasn't it mate? Power cut sorted itself out now. Yeah, no 4G, no no power, no nothing. It's quite an eye opener when that happens, isn't it? That's quite my first ever memory of that Power's back on now, all is well. So that kind of concludes those very basic tests. I mean, you know, I could have gone further, I could have done more of a radius, but to give you an idea of how far you're gonna get um, with a setup, external antennas just make all the difference. And what's cool about that antenna is it doesn't take up a lot of space. It will fit in something like a loft. You haven't got to worry about putting it outside, getting the wire in and, you know, all the elements bashing at the antenna and wearing it down. You can just stick that up in the loft and get some pretty good performance. I'm going to do some more testing on that, try and reach some locals. It's dual band as well, so I can use the two meter band as well. Remember with these test guys, I've got a license, got a ham radio license, so I can experiment on these bands with different antennas. And I'd encourage you, if you are interested in this, to get a license. It's not really difficult at all. Um, you just have to do like a simple online test and then you can just do exactly what I'm doing here. And there's loads of other like-minded people on there as well that you can chat about radio till the small hours if that's really what you want to do. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>